This is a short tutorial on how to use LT Spice to check your homework, check your hand calculations for calculating transistor uh, circuits. Do this in LT Spice, open it up, make a new schematic. What I usually do in LT Spice is always save it first because it always it saves it by default to some place I don't even know. We're going to shove it in homework 19 folder and the one more circuit we're going to simulate today is uh, Jager 432. This was in homework 15. So you can look up the homework 15 solution and we'll see that it works out. So first we're going to put in our uh, MOSFET select component we're going to go over to nmos there's two nmos uh, symbols nmos and nmos4 if we're doing fancy things we always want to do nmos4 so we can get that extra body connection all right so slap it down hit escape add the 100k resistor here we're also going to add our voltage source so we can get that 12 volt uh, power supply on this side uh, zoom out a little bit. F3, draw some wires. Close up with that. There we go. Draw, 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 draw. Now we're going to tie this body connection all the way to zero. Draw. And the gate was tied to the drain in this problem. So the resistor, right click on R. That was 100K. The power supply or the voltage source there was 12 volts. Now here's where we have uh, to do some updating. NMOS, NMOS what? We want to make a model for this. So we're going to tell LT Spice what model we want to use. We do that by putting some uh, Spice commands in here. Dot model. We're going to call this NMOS. That's the name. It is a NMOS. It's possible to do that. Open parenthesis. KP, that's our mu n times COX. KP in the book was 100 microamps per volt squared. And VT0, the threshold voltage was 0 0.75 volts, if I recall correctly. That's what we want. Say OK, and then we're going to slap it down right here at the bottom so we can see it. We're not done yet. We want to right click on our MOSFET here. And we have model name and MOS that's showing on the figure. It's the length and width we definitely need. And in the book, it said a length of 1 and a width of 10. Now, uh, side note, this is in meters when we say 1, to one and 10. Uh, we're going to leave it like that just to see what would happen, but this is a humongous transistor. But uh, we're going to see if that, uh, that still works. Do you see how the L and the uh, W do not show up here? If we want to see it, we hold down Control and right-click on the symbol. That brings up the attribute editors. All this is in the manual. We see our L is 1, W is 10. Vis means visible. It's not visible. So we're going to double-click on there to get an X. OK. There it is. Uh, the graphics on here, we can't really move this... Uh, text around because it's tied to the symbol. Don't worry about it. It's just harder to read is all. And we're not quite done yet. I'm going to move. We need a uh, ground in here. We need a zero reference because this is spice and our nodal analysis. Remember always had a ground node, a reference node. So we need one in spice as well. I think we're all done. We're going to run a simulation and right the first time we need to set it up. We're going to just do a DC operating point. Say OK. I'm going to run it right away. Uh, and here we go. VNO2. All this, all this. OK, that's really nice. I don't know what NO02 or 002 is. I'm going to make this easier on myself. I'm going to label the net. I'm going to label that uh, X. And I'm going to put label X on this node. It's the only other node that we don't know. Top node is 12 volts, bottom node is 0, middle node's node is VGS and VDS. Run the simulation again so we get nice labels. VX, VGS is 1.21445 volts. 
uh, 12 volt node. We don't need the node name. It's 12 volts. We knew that. The drain current ID was 107.856 microamps. These uh, units are amps, by the way. The body current is picoamps. That's interesting. Remember, that's a reverse bias diode between drain and body connection. So getting a little bit of current is not a big deal. It's reverse bias. That's why it's picoamps. Source current. Notice how the source current and the drain current are uh, suspiciously equal. Uh, they're actually off by the body current, but we can't. Uh, we don't have resolution here to, to see that. Same thing. The uh, current in uh, through the resistor and the and the voltage source, everything's in series, so it's the same. 107.856 microamps. Let's compare this to our test results or to our uh, homework solution. Let's open up our homework solution. Here's number three, Jager number uh, 432. And uh, here we go, we got the threshold right. Lambda was zero, we simulated part A. Down here, we calculate, we uh, get a square root. We need a square, or do have a quadratic equation. Uh, we have to choose two values. I chose 464 millivolts for VGS minus the threshold. VGS turned out to be 1.21 volts. Three digits of uh, precision is three digits of precision over here. So that's good. And we'll also check the ID, the drain current, 107.9 microamps. Well, that's just because I rounded it to four digits. 107.85 is, uh, is good to go. Let's go on to part B. Part B was exactly the same, except, same circuit, except we made lambda to be uh, some value. Default in SPICE, if you don't have it in the model, defaults to lambda is zero. and also turns off body effect, the term gamma. That's why we have VT zero here, it's not an O, and not gamma. Gamma is, by default, if it's not specified, zero. So let's try that. Let's put a lambda in here. And the term is actually LAMBDA. And zero point, I forgot what it was. Zero two five. Zero two five. Okay. There's our model. If we hit the space bar in here, we zoom out. Run the operating point again. Maybe I'll save it. Okay, that's always good. By the way, uh, LT Spice does not save your schematic when you do a simulation run unless you go into the control panel and save uh, Spice. Save, save, save. What's in here somewhere? Save all open files on start of simulation? No. That's the default value. The star here means it's remembered between. And times when you run the program, that saves it in the registry on that machine, but not here. So save, why don't we just do that because you get bit by that. All right, so run the simulation. It was an operating point. VX, VGS is 1.207 volts, and the drain current was 107.923, just a teeny bit more. What was homework seven? Here we go, VGS 1.208, just rounded to four digits. ID 107.9 microamps. So that's how we simulate a circuit in LT SPICE using the easy MOSFET models, the ones that we use for pan calculation. The nice part about this is LT SPICE also picks the correct mode that the uh, MOSFET operates in. So we look here, that's all good. I'm going to look at this and we're going to say view spice error log. Spice netlist first. This is the netlist that uh, comes out that actually simulates. We can type in this netlist and uh, run from there. We don't need a schematic. Spice does not need schematics. And sometimes you don't even write uh, draw a schematic because you know how it looks. You just type out the netlist. Here we go. We're going to look at the spice error log though. Here we go. Spy. This is just uh, output of the simulator name M1, MOSFET1. It's a NMOS. 
ID, and so on. This gives us VGS, VDS, VBS, V threshold. And the threshold is not VT0, but the actual threshold, including body, uh, VB set, GM, GDS. We don't use those. And you see how these capacitors, CGS, CBS, CGD, CGB, these are all zero because that's what they default to. I'm going to change one more setting in here, and we're going to save, save, sub, circuit, internal device, voltages. Maybe that's the one I want. I'll try it again. So run again. Operating point, we're going to look at the error log. And there we go. Uh, some other versions of SPICE will actually tell you in this list of your transistors, especially at a DC operating point uh, simulation, it gives all the parameters, all the capacitances that it calculated. And then it also tells you what, what region of operation it's in, triode or saturation or, or, uh, or what. Saturation and velocity saturation sometimes get rolled together in the simulator because it's actually dealing with the elect uh, electron velocities and charge densities and such. That's the end.